And we'll start in Nigeria, where four police officers have been arrested in Kogi State for extorting 25,000 naira from a traveller while physically assaulting another traveller in a trending video. Now, the Kogi State Commissioner of Police, Idrisu Daoda Daban, disclosed this in a statement signed by the police spokesperson, William Ayer, on Sunday. Now, Mr. Daban said the command had also launched an investigation into the viral video allegation against the police personnel attached to Adogo Division. Now, according to the statement, they were alleged to have carried out the act while on patrol duty along Adogo Okene Road. Now, just in case you haven't come across this video, we need to let you know that the video might be disturbing. But let's watch this. Yeah. Because they say, why go crack on say one shoot? Look at what Nigeria police is doing to the citizens of this country. The first one of our passengers enter moto, go withdraw money for ATM. All the drive your drivers pack now. Say so this thing is not right. He come now, they, they, they slap. They slap passengers. Why not do anything? Say why go talk, say why they go follow the boy, go POS. Look at his face. Look at his face. He say go key, he say blood go flow. He did not take time. Say last time a blood go share. This year we are at Kogi. Mm, uh, quite disturbing scenes from that video, which has uh, really gone viral in Nigeria, emanating from Kogi State. Now, the commissioner of Kogi, of Kogi State uh, Command has condemned the incident, saying that, that the police officer had been identified and detained at the State Criminal Investigation Department. Now, according to him, they are Isa Barabas Ifediogu. Godwin, Emmanuel Ochima, and uh, Umene Mathias. Uh, so that's the big case, uh, Oluchi, coming in from Kogi. And uh, they are really talking tough about arresting the officers and taking them for criminal investigations. All right, and at this point in time, investigation is underway. Um, but a lot of Nigerians are not surprised this kind of video. This is mm. not the first video that has been trending or that has ever trended in the social media space. We've seen lots of times, we've seen police officers, alleged stories of police officers who have shot mm. a driver dead for as small as 50 naira. I mean, even in Lagos here, there have been different stories all around Lagos State of mm. how police officers use the, the um, our uniform they're wearing and the fact that they have a weapon on. In mm. fact, I can give you first-hand experience. My husband mm. was uh, uh, pulled out from the vehicle and he was told, he was asked, where did he get the money to afford the kind of vehicle that he was driving? He called the police officer out and told the police officer to take back that statement. And the police officer was insisting that he would not do that. Other police officers came around and mm. they apologized on this police officer's behalf and said that the police officer was acting under the influence of alcohol. Okay, so he did not ask for his papers. He just oh, asked. Oh no, he, he told he told my husband to come down from the vehicle and was saying, what, "A man like you, where can you, where did you get the kind of money to buy this kind of car?" Is that part of his jurisdiction? Oh, sir, I was I was speechless. Mm. Oh, well, following, following that story, hopefully, perhaps later we might have uh, one of the officers out there at the police uh, command in, uh, in Kogi State join us right here on Breakfast. And so those that the images uh, from social media are quite trending about the four police officers now arrested at the police state uh, command uh, for uh, arresting, uh, extortioning about 25,000 naira and assaulting uh, another passenger as we saw in that really disturbing video. Now, this is an armed police officer right now. Well, joining us this morning is Kogi Police uh, a public relations officer, DSP William Ove Aya. Uh, DSP William, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Central. Right. I, I know he's reaching us via telephone, so this is supposed okay. to be a telephone um, conversation, and we're hoping he can get back to us concerning this because we have a lot of questions, and Nigerians mm -hmm. are looking forward to getting answers. It's a good thing that the Inspector General has jumped into this and mm -hmm. investigation is underway, but we need to see the end of this. We've heard so many times about investigations in situations like this have always started, but the end mm. is what we do not get to see. Yet. And, you know, this is coming up just uh, a couple of days uh, towards the, what I want to call it, anniversary of uh, the end uh, that we saw last year, where it was all about police brutality right. and extortion to end that. And people, have, people thought perhaps that would have been a thing of the past, and you 
hear of this kind of incident still going down on the highways of uh, Kogi or Kenya Road. Said, no, of the past. I mean, mm. from this video here, this police officer followed him to get the money. There was a situation of him going to use mm. the POS or is it as the ATM reported as reported. by the reported. narrator of the video. Right. I mean, so, I mean, nowadays, Olisa, people, people come out and they give their own versions of their own saga with police officers on the highway or even on the major roads within a state. And the, the stories are not... They're not welcoming in any way mm. or form. And well, that's the police officer clearly caught in this uh, video evidence uh, really assaulting a passenger, you know, and going on to have a loss of discussion. So it was almost like a fracas. And at this point, you ask yourselves about the conduct about the Nigerian police, whether you are in the state patrol or perhaps or highway patrol or whatever. The conduct, and uh, I, I suppose no arrest was made from this incident. So no what was the crime? Was I mean, Olisa, I, I can give you another experience I personally had mm. on the highway. This was on Ore Road mm. when we're going from Lagos to the east. Now, the police, some police people, supposedly, I would say, allegedly, the police officers stopped us on the way. They told us to come when, down when from the dressed? vehicle. <laughs> well, they had they had the police shirts, this mm. regular blue and white shirt on. They had the cap. They had the rifles, but mm. there were no serial numbers because I was looking out for the serial number. Mm. Now they told us to come down. They stripped us of our watches. They stripped us of, of our glasses. Mm. They stripped us of our phones. Wow. Yes. They took all of that away from us and they had a thorough search of the vehicle. All the way, stripped every part of the car, stripped it totally naked. And went off. Oh, no. They were, um, it, was, it was a long story, but I mean, I, 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 I had my press jacket on and I told them we're going for a burial of my brother-in-law and, mm. you know, long and short, they gave us back all of those things. But I was surprised. They took our watches, our glasses wow. and phones. Four police officers in Kogi State uh, arrested for uh, assaulting and also for uh, seeking, uh, well, 25,000 Naira uh, extortion. Now we're joined by Kogi uh, Police Public Relations Officer DSP William Uwe Aya. Uh, DSP Williams, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast Central. Good morning, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. Welcome. Right. So now, Williams, tell us really, what has the Inspector General of Police said about the current action of these um, officers? Uh, thank you very much. The, the Inspector General of Police having received the report of uh, this uh, unprofessional uh, conduct of uh, the police personnel, he has uh, ordered the Commissioner of Police, Kogi State Police Command, to immediately carry out this case investigation into the incident uh, trending on the social media as far as to identify the officers and then ensure that investigation has been carried out. And the Commissioner of Police, Kogi State Police Command, he has actually sworn into action, uh, identify the police officers who happen to be the police personnel attached to Adogo Division. The incident happened when they were on patrol duty along Adogo Okeno Road. That it was uh, on the video as we saw it that the police extorted a sum of 25,000 naira from the traveler, while another was uh, physically assaulted by one of the police. Uh, officer. So the Commissioner of Police actually, while condemning the incident, he noted that the officer has been identified and uh, has been detained at the State Criminal Investigation Department. So we have the following officers. One is the uh, ASP Issa Bernabas, who is the officer in charge of the patrol and guard. We have Inspector Isedugu Godwin, Dajan Emmanuel Oshima, and Corporal Umami Matthias. Corporal Umami Matthias was the one that assaulted, physically assaulted one of the travelers. Mm. And uh, the police authority, having uh, received such a report, they have issued an official query to the ASP, who is the most senior police officer uh, overseeing the, the team, while other junior officers have been. Uh, are defaulted and undergone a real trial, which is the police internal disciplinary actions. All, all right, uh, DSP Williams, now you just clarified uh, where the officers involved are currently. Uh, they've been uh, in custody out there in Kogi. Now, but what's the uh, Nigerian police force uh, stance towards this continuous acts by a few police officers wearing a respected uniform and just committing this really criminal acts on the roads on the streets of Nigeria? What's the stance on it? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, the stand of the Nigerian police force is the action taken by the police to identify these officers and to ensure that investigation is being carried out. And if I want to, the officers will be punished accordingly. And uh, what I want you to also know is that the officers, they are not from 
heaven. They are not from any country that's from Nigeria. And they must reflect the attitude and character of Nigeria because it is an Nigerian study. Every society has a little influence in the behavior of the people, the, of its habitants. So, but to, now we have been identifying the police. Of course, uh, with this thing that happened, we have identified them. So that they will now be there with uh, It will serve as a deterrent to other police officers who may like to uh, be involved in such an uh, unprofessional uh, conduct displayed by the personnel in Adogo Education of Kogos Police Command. All right, thank you so much, uh, DSP Williams uh, Oye. Uh, Obie Oya, the uh, public police uh, relations officer out there in Kogi. Thank you so much for your time on Breakfast Central this morning, sir. Thank you very much.